sipping a beer Lao in Vientiane Lao. They make their own beer in. It's pretty good. It's pretty strong though. Strong in flavor. And it's five percent, so in several ways. Bodybuilder in Lao, having my first conio in Lao. Let's see how it tastes. Gai Nong, as usual, Gai Nong. Mm. Lao Konya, oh my. Bodybuilder in Lao. Uh, right now I'm getting some food before I head out. So, sorry to disappoint you guys, but other than probably getting that beer at the bar last night was like the most exciting thing I did. So, and chain as far as having uh, you know like a lot of fun or excitement uh, cannot recommend but this is a very relaxing city and the people here are very nice uh, super kind and it would be a good place to come to just relax and and just chill like maybe come by yourself perfect for a visa run you know just come and chill so didn't do anything thank you uh didn't do anything exciting last night and um but i will be going to uh thana lang station right after i eat this meal what am i gonna eat i'm gonna eat ponyo right now obviously you know how i do and then i'm gonna eat chicken as well and then i'll be going to the uh Thana Lang station, which is the railway station, check out, get my stamp out on my Lao visa, and then I'll be heading back into Thailand, but I'm not going to go back to Bangkok right away. I'm actually going to go check out Udon Thani, uh, which is part of Isan, which I'm interested in as well. So that should be a little more exciting, and you guys will get to see my trip there and uh, what I'm doing in Udon Thani, all right? Got some very delicious looking Gaiyan to go to the they actually set it up so that it looked very aesthetic. And uh, this is probably going to be pretty good. I got some other uh, Lao men, who I think they're construction workers, uh, eating next to me and it's going to be a good meal. The sticky rice is very sticky, just how I like it. Yeah. Very, very good, very tasty. Getting a tuk tuk, which is a three wheeled car, it's a tricycle, um, back to Tana Lang Bridge where I will check out um, Lao. A uh, three wheeled car, tuk tuks are pretty famous in uh, Southeast Asia. Uh, look them up because they're, they're funny and the drivers are always a character. This guy, I, he originally was asking me 150, but when I walked away and said no change to 100,000 uh, kit. In Lao, they build houses and buildings and it appears bridges out of bamboo. That's bamboo sticks. That's just a fresh bamboo tree cut down. Here's a better look at one close up. Using these bamboo shoots. They're even hollow to build bridges with sturdy as fuck. Lao 
government capital building here. Looks cool. Looks real cool. I'm on my way to the Pratuk Said monument, which is a, a war monument for a revolution and independence from France. It's on my way. That's where I'm going. Cool. There's many uh, very beautiful temples. Wow. And Lao. They call temples, you know, Thai language and Lao language, I think I explained before, it overlaps. And they call temples here Wat. Uh, Wat Sue, very beautiful temple. All right, check this out. This has got swastikas all over it. Uh, so see, the swastika is not necessarily a German symbol or a Nazi symbol. It, it's a very old symbol. And this is a Vietnamese temple here in Laos uh, with swastikas on it because it's part of their culture, part of their religion. It has nothing to do with being Nazi. A very, very cool temple here. Very cool Vietnamese temple. Damn. Wow, that is cool. I love this style of architecture where it goes up like that. It looks like kind of like Japanese architecture, but this is Vietnamese. Man, that is cool. There is some cool stuff here in Laos. I, I gotta say, Lao has cool things to see. There's a lot of majestic views. This is the Vietnamese temple in Lao. Check out these cool statues right here. Got the lion right here. These are carved out of stone. Yeah, that's Pratuk Sai. Monument built to celebrate uh, independence from France in Laos. Bodybuilder in Thailand. Uh, this is my friend Don. I met him today in Udon Thani. So I've known him a long time over email because he found bodybuilder in Thailand.com. He's lived here in Thailand longer than I have, but he is also a bodybuilder here in Thailand. So he teaches England. No, he, he teaches physical education (PE) here in an international school in Udon Thani in northern Thailand. And since I'm passing through here today, we met up. Don, say hi. Hey guys, what's up? Yep. All right, so we're just hanging out here in Udon Thani, having a few Chong beers, and uh, having a good time talking bodybuilding. And apparently, in Udon Thani, there's a lot of good gyms and a good gym culture. So. We're gonna check that out, and also, I gotta get some Viagra tonight because I'm on test pro, and I have been in the, I have been away from my test pro injections for the last five days. Yes, five or six days. So it's out of my system. Gotta get Viagra. All right, bodybuilder in Thailand. Bodybuilder in Thailand, I'm with four sexy Thai girls right now, and they're, you know, we were at one club, I was doing my bodybuilder in Thailand thing in private, you know, but now we're about to go to this new club in Udon Thani Because I'm like meeting, you know, like Thai girls on the go, you know But we were doing our thing in private and now you know, There's these girls. They're sexy as fuck And now we're going to this new club in Udon Thani. Do you see those LED lights? That's common. That's common when you're going to a place that's fucking popping. I'm just like, keep this cam, you know, like, focus behind me as they walk up. I'm like, shit, what's gonna happen tonight? Are we going home with all three? Bodybuilder in Thailand, uh, just about to check out of my hotel here in Udon Thani. So, a little bit of a bummer. Last night I was at McDonald's at you know, in the morning, early in the morning, and uh, I accidentally left my wallet on the seat when I used the the shitter, and a Thai, a, a worker, a, a worker at McDonald's uh, lifted about 400 US dollars from me in cash, so, bummer, bummer, but I went to the police station and, you know, 
nothing could be done about it or whatever. Even even though we you know we all knew who it was, I don't know. He had hid the money or something. So basically, all that happened of it was the police took selfies with me. So a little bit of a bummer there, but I'm just gonna blow it off because you know, it, thinking about it is just gonna make me pissed. So yeah, leaving my uh, hotel here in Udantani now. Uh, I really like this painting right here. I thought that was cool. So about to check out Bodybuilder in Thailand. A little bit of a bummer last night. Um, but I'm going to walk around here in Udon today and chill. So we'll be seeing you guys out on the streets. All right. So in a bar right now in Udon Thani. And having a beer because I'm a little bit of a hangover. So having a beer to help that get better but there's some nice stripper poles right behind me and uh, need to get some girls on there need to get some sexy Thai girls on those poles all right so just got done with my morning game of billiards in the bar I've actually been playing pool a lot uh, recently it's a really fun game I really like it I I'm definitely a novice but I'm trying to increase my skills by playing every day. And one of the girls that worked in the bar uh, challenged me to a match. And she kicked my ass because she's like freaking professional. So that was fun, though, either way. Right now I'm on my way to Central Plaza, which is like basically the mall. And I'm gonna plan out my next move there because I haven't thought about like how I'm gonna get back home to Bangkok or what the hell I'm doing today. And so all that decision will be made in a second once I get in there. I'm also uh, just curious about there's a lot of there's a lot of vegetation here. Bangkok is like a big, it's basically like a concrete jungle, but there's a lot more vegetation here. Here I am at Central Plaza. I'm about to uh, be crossing the street and go in there. That's the mall, so peace out.